On this episode of West Chicago Railroad, let's take a look at the MTH Merry Christmas Railway, number 25, Brill Trolley. Hi folks, Matt here from West Chicago Railroad. Before we get started, I, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to all the folks that have subscribed, liked, left comments, or even just watched my video. I really appreciate it. Okay, so what we have today is a special holiday edition of the Brill Trolley made by MTH. It is the Merry Christmas Railway, number 25. And the reason I bought this is that I wanted some additional Christmas related items. And I do have some Christmas engines, but I don't have any that were command control. And I really wanted to have something that I could actually run on my layout because my layout is 100% command control. I don't run any conventional items. I might have to like set up uh, you know, a track on the floor or somewhere else to run anything conventionally. So uh, I wanted something that I could run and kind of have fun and have something for the uh, family to see and kids to see when they come over to see the layout. Okay, so before we get started, I'm going to go over just super brief history, okay? I'm not going to make this any kind of anything long-winded or anything because obviously we want to talk about the mod this model itself. But as far as the Brill trolley goes... Um, in 1869, the year that rails first joined America's east-west coasts, two German immigrants skilled in cabinet making founded the J.G. Brill Company in Philadelphia. At first, John George Brill and his son George Martin Brill built any kind of rail passenger vehicle, including horse-drawn streetcars, cable cars, and passenger cars for steam railroads. The firm's fortunes improved dramatically in the mid-1880s, however, when it began to concentrate on the booming streetcar market, and as the 20th century dawned, Brill became a leader as the streetcar business matured and consolidated. Brill was also known for technological innovation. One of its earliest notable designs was the patented Brill convertible car. Removable side panels enabled the same trolley to be an open car in warm weather and a closed car in colder seasons. Later, the patented semi-convertible design enabled removable panels to be stored in the car's roof. This is a Brill semi-convertible trolley. So let's go over a few just technical specifications. So this is the Brill semi-convertible trolley with Protosound 3. It is the Merry Christmas Railway edition. It is road number 25. The product number on this is 30-5174-1. So yes, this is a Rail King product. It is not a Premier line. It is a Rail King. This uh, was offered in the 2018 Volume 1 catalog from MTH. And it was delivered around October of 2018. So it's only a few years old. They've actually, MTH has actually done several Christmas trolleys, uh, if I remember correctly. Uh, they've been doing trolleys for a long time. Um, ever since, I believe, Protosound 1, um, they've been doing trolleys and streetcars. So MTH has been doing this for quite a long time. This particular model is equipped with a precision flywheel equipped motor. Uh, it obviously does DCS, and it also does DCC. Now, there is no switch on the bottom of this for DCC. Uh, what you have to do is remove the actual body piece and then there is a wire inside that you cut and that enables uh, DCC. So um, kind of strange. <laughs> My guess is the tooling on this when it was initially made um, obviously it didn't support DCC so in order to make it a little bit more you know, cheaper way of doing it, less costly. They just, you know, had a wire connected. And if you basically break that wire connection, it enables the DCC. So um, probably not something most people have to worry about. Um, this is a, most people I imagine are buying this and running it on their, uh, you know, standard O-gauge three rail 
uh, layout and won't be <laughs> cutting any wires, so to speak. The unit measures around 10 inches long and it the minimum of curb rating on this is 031 so you know this is safe on pretty much any layout any O scale three rail O scale layout. So let's cover the actual model itself. Uh, the colors and the paint and everything are really really cool. Um, it does uh, you know it's not like red and green like a Christmas but it is uh, kind of have like a classic colors associated with it so um, you know the details on it are, are what you're gonna get with a Rail King model right I mean these you, know, you have these large uh, trolley poles on top they do uh, snap down and clip under a hook uh, that way if you have any uh, layouts with um, uh, tunnels or some kind of obstruction uh, up top uh, you're not gonna clip these trolley poles because they believe it or not they do sit uh, pretty high on the trolley so you look down here at the bottom, the trucks, they're you know, pretty well decorated for you know, a Rail King model. Uh, we have these detailed doors on each side. Now, just, just so you know, these trolleys are, obviously it's a trolley, it's going to be the same on each side. So, um, you know, I'm going to, whatever I show you here looks exactly the same on the other side. The front and back look exactly the same. In fact, there are no indicators on this to tell you which is the front and which is the back. Um, there are there is a small uh, uh, indicator on the bottom. Uh, the the manual volume control is actually on the back of it. And what I what I mean by back of it is that by default, when you put it on the track and you hit forward, well, that's the end that's obviously going to go forward, right? Um, so, I mean, because when you put something on the track, you want to know which way it's going to be going, right? So, uh, so that's the only way that I can tell when I put it on the track uh, which side is the designated uh, forward end. So, as far as decoration and details go in the middle here, it does have the silhouettes. And the reason they do this is because otherwise you're just going to see the interiors of the engine, right? I mean, they could use clear windows and put people in there, but then you're going to see the motor, you're going to see uh, boards, you're going to see these two big light bulbs on each side. And that's why it looks like that as well. Like, you get this lighting here and lighting here, and then there's, like, this darkness. This is obviously where the motor housing is at. So, um, I, I like the silhouettes. I think it's a cool idea, and it, it does hide the... Um, you know, the internal parts because this thing isn't very large uh, there's no way to really hide anything I mean they could probably put some an inner another inner shell in here but you know what now you're just introducing more costs to build the unit so it's fine the way it is I, I, I have a street car that's pretty much designed the same way and to me it looks perfectly fine so here's the front of the trolley uh, again, this is the Merry Christmas Railway, so it is decorated for Christmas. Uh, you have a headlight here, and then there's this really cool wreath uh, with a bow uh, around the headlight, which is pretty cool, actually. And then if you could see up here, uh, there is a designator here that says North Pole, and then there is an engineer here as well. Uh, just so you know, uh, the f again, this is symmetrical. The front looks exactly like the back. This is basically what the the rear looks like of the trolley. Okay, so let's go ahead and just start it up. We'll hear the startup sequence. Uh, we'll play the the sounds, and then we'll I'll show you the the Christmas PFA and this sort of thing. It's I'll explain a little bit more when we get into it. It doesn't really have a PFA. It uses the trolley stops but we'll cover that when we get to that point. So I'm going to use the, um, the DCS app uh, on my phone, and I'm going to go to Extended Startup. This is a North Pole trolley. So the headlight comes on when you turn it on. So the rest of the lights are already on. So the only thing that actually, the only light that turns on when you actually enable the startup is the headlight. And then the, um, what I would call an elf, which is supposed to be an elf, uh, comes on the uh, 
you know, the PA system inside of it and it says, you know, this is the North Pole Trolley. Okay, so let's, uh, let's hear the bell. Pretty standard trolley bell, I would say. And here is the horn. <laughs> it kind of sounds like a, an alarm clock, uh, an old alarm clock going off, right? Now, in order to get the stops out of this, when I'm not, if you're familiar with the way MTH subways, streetcars, and trolleys work, the best way to get the maximum amount of sounds and, and the stops out of it is to use the trolley mode. And what this is, is it's basically an, um, an automatic way of just starting the trolley up and then it just goes around and makes, announces stops, uh, stops the trolley. You know, there's sounds of people getting on and off and ambient sounds and stuff like that. And then it says, next stop is, you know, this, you know, whatever the stop would be. And it just does that. And it does it until you turn it off, which is actually, I think, a really, really cool feature about the trolleys, subways, and streetcars from TH. Because it's kind of like, you start it up, it starts doing what it needs to do, and you don't have to mess with it, right? So I'll show you, I'll give you a little preview of some of the sounds, but then we'll actually just, I'll turn on the trolley mode and, and we'll let it run around, so. This is a North Pole trolley. The coal mine, the coal mine. Reindeer stables, reindeer stables. Slave repair shop, slave repair shop. <laughs> uh, that, that was not me coughing, that was coughing from the trolley. Now, you're probably asking, why is it giving me the double sounds? Well, with the DCS app, I've kind of noticed that it does have some bugginess to it. And for some reason, uh, if you activate a sound on the DCS app, it plays it twice in a row. And I don't know why it does that, but uh, when I start the trolley mode, it actually won't do that at all. It'll do everything normally so uh, let's go ahead and, uh, and start that up all right so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing moving because uh, the way I do the trolley mode is I like to set it at the speed that I want it at and then I'll enable trolley mode and then at that point it will always uh, use the maximum speed I have set on my DCS remote as the maximum speed that it will go and then it'll obviously make the stops that it needs to and accelerate back to that specific uh, speed I have set. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing moving. 18 is probably pretty good and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click on the settings here and then I'm gonna scroll down and under functions, it's going to say trolley subway control. I'm going to click that. And it's going to say what I want to do. Learn mode, manual mode, exit trolley sequence. But I'm going to use auto mode because that's basically fire and forget kind of thing. Now, I can do loop or out and back. Um, what that means is if I do a loop, it's going to basically, after it gets to the last stop, it's just going to start the new stop again. If I do out and back, what happens is turn around, go in reverse, and make all the stops back again. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Start Auto Mode. So now it's gonna go ahead and start making all its stops. I can hit Close.
Sasha. Okay, folks, that about wraps it up on this review of the MTH Merry Christmas Railway Trolley, number 25. Uh, end kind of summary here. This is a really cool trolley. If you're interested in getting something to run around the layout, um, this uh, has a little bit of sentimental value to me. Uh, my grandmother uh, was a big com uh, proponent in me getting into trains, and she loved to buy me little... Uh, back when I was in, into HO, um, you know, she loved to buy the little streetcars and she loved this trolley that I had. It was a little red trolley and she just adored it. And um, I really wanted to get something on the layout. Um, so to number one, just uh, just kind of a memory for her. And number two, uh, something Christmas related too. So, you know, I don't think I can get any better than the Merry Christmas Railway Trolley from MTH. So to everyone out there, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, thank you for leaving comments, thank you for liking my videos. Even just, again, even just if you're just watching my videos, that's great. I like to see people, you don't have, you don't have to leave a comment, you don't have to subscribe. Uh, just by watching my videos uh, really means a lot to me. So with that, I wanna wish everybody a safe, and happy holidays this season and for a obviously wonderful new year. <laughs>